Hey everybody, I'm Premier Gal and I'm super excited to be here on Blick's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing you my top tips to edit faster in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's jump in. My first favorite effect is being able to copy and paste attributes. On this clip, I've added some color correction. I put on this creative look here from Lumetri Color and I added in some vibrancy, about 64 points. You can see the before and after when I hit the toggle off and toggle back on. So if I wanted to paste this look on these other two clips here in the timeline, what I can do is just hit Command C on my Mac to copy this clip or Control C on a PC if you're on a PC. And then over here, I can lasso and select these clips or 10 plus clips, however many clips you need, then control click or right click and paste attributes. And here I can just paste the Lumetri color and hit okay. And now you can see these looks were added. And if you select them, you can see the Lumetri color was added from the effect controls on this clip and on this clip to give them a similar look. My other favorite tool is the rolling edit tool. So if you hit N on your keyboard, you can actually move this edit point. So you can move it to be farther ahead. So that way the first clip is shorter and the second clip is longer, or you can move it to the right to make the first clip longer and the second clip shorter. My other favorite tool is the ripple delete. Let's say we wanted to get rid of this clip in between these two clips. Just hit the option key on your Mac or the alt key on your PC and hit delete and it will delete that clip in between and bring the two clips together just like that. Another tool that I love is the rate stretch tool. You can hit R on your keyboard to enable the rate stretch tool and you can see that it's selected from the toolbar. Now what's really cool about the rate stretch tool is you can change the speed of the clip. So if you drag it out, you can make it slower. And you can see when I play it back, it's much slower and it's at 40.27%, which means that it's lower than 100%, so it's slower. If you wanna speed it up, you push it in the opposite direction, and now it's much faster. And you can see if I zoom in, it's at 189.58%. And if you go to the wrench tool, be sure to have show video names so that way you see this information on your clip. And lastly, but certainly not least, I love Premiere Pro's built-in auto-synchronize function. So here I have this shot that was recorded with the on-camera audio on audio track one. But I recorded the real good quality audio through my computer with this USB microphone. And I wanna synchronize the two of them together. To do that, all I need to do is lasso and select all the clips, control click on all of them or right click and select synchronize. And be sure to synchronize based on audio track one and hit okay. And what this will do is it will process the two clips and auto synchronize them and you'll see a shift that will happen to make sure it's in the right place. Now, if I mute this track and play it back, you'll see that the audio is indeed synchronized. Are you in the microphone now? Talk. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to Gal. And those are my favorite shortcuts and tips to speed up editing in Premiere Pro. Thanks so much for watching. If these tips help you out, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in more tutorials, be sure to subscribe so you can get more useful tips for myself and other creators. And if you're interested in licensing music that was used in this tutorial or other commercial music, you can use the licked link below to license music for your video. So that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.